So we are back from a very busy week. It kind of just snuck up on us. Everything just happened really fast and we had so much to get done before we drove all the way up to Massachusetts for Vinny's bachelor party. We actually went to the Monster Energy Supercross. Vinny had the best time ever. He had his Vinny Menino jersey on watching the race. It was Vinny and all of his closest friends, a lot of them that didn't even know anything about Supercross and they were so excited to be there. Vinny actually met Austin Forkner and Jason Anderson. It was just a perfect bachelor party weekend for Vinny. He had so much fun. And so did we to be honest with you but since we are back we're getting straight to work on the videos i just want to say that we are not going to be building the ramp today because we are down a couple guys we only got me and maddie and i am not strong enough and to be as able much to as that this. is <laughs> It's not enough. It's not enough. It really isn't. So we're going to take a break on the ramp for at least a day and uh, we're going to go do something cool though. Let's tell everybody what's happening. You really want to know? They want to know. It's, really they, they, tell. they clicked in this video. I'm sure they already know at this point. Oh yeah, I forgot there's a title on these videos. Isn't <laughs> yeah. We're going to build up 16 inch bike. Two 16 inch bikes. Hopefully. We are going to go deck <laughs> these things out. So we're going to take two brand new 16 inches and put all the finest parts on them that we could possibly rattle up. They're probably going to be a lot of used Brooklyn parts, but I'm sure they're going to come out like the nicest bikes I've ever but seen. But used Brooklyn parts are top like, of the line. Yeah. You want to hear my car squeak? Mm, what, you want to put it in the comments, see if anybody knows what it is? Mm -hmm. All right, let's do it. Okay. Oh, dude. What was that? I went to go throw the wrench on the table. Yeah. I went to go slide it on the table. It's a magnet. So it like grabbed <laughs> just, the wrench. That's pretty I just funny. went to go it was, and I was like, what the hell? That's pretty funny. Dude, that is the strongest magnet ever. That's crazy. All right. Okay, action packed day here, now guys. Right. Yeah, so Maddie's car, it definitely needs some work. He, he hasn't done a ton of stuff to it, like um, mechanical wise on keeping it up to date. Uh, it's 81,000 miles on this thing. This is the first car he ever had that was a six shift as well. So I kind of think I know what the sound is, but we're gonna let you WR experts out there uh, diagnose this one. So here we go. So when Maddie's in first gear and he lets the clutch out, it's making this noise. There it is, squeaking again. I'm pretty sure it's his clutch and his throwout bearing. I, I'm, that's what I think. Um, so if any UWR experts out there want to put it in the comments, Maddie would love to read it and figure it all out. All right, now it's time to go into the most reliable, perfect car you've ever seen in your life, the Toyota Prius right there. I really do love this car, guys. I've had this thing since, what, July or August? I got it with like a little under 11,000 miles on it, and I am at 38,500 miles now in this car. That's insane. Uh, we got a flat tire at the bachelor party. That was fun. We had to plug it, and yeah, everything's working good, though. Cool, on to the bike shop. Let's go build some 16-inch bikes. So we went with Kink, guys. We got the Kink car of 16. The reason why we went with Kink, why do we do that? They've always been cool to us. And we have two of them in the back. <laughs> it's the only you know, 16 great, that we great have. Guys. The great guys in the shop. It's <laughs> bad you had to say, but yes, we've had Kink for a while. Kink's a great company. They really are. I don't even know what color this thing's going to be. Oh, I didn't even look. Ooh, right. the big unveiling oh, right now. Oh, we're going to see. It's Probably black. Oh, it's that like a green. green with sparkles in it. Nice. Ooh, sparkly. Uh, Brooklyn, is this 36? It's, uh, it I think be. it might I be think 36. It's 36. That's it good. Be. Uh, so that's going to be. We need one with a free coaster, so. Well, I know, I know someone that has a free coaster that I can swap out. We need one with a free you, coaster. You're really going to do that? I'm not going to not ride one with a free <laughs> without a free coaster. On. Question right. if I build it, will you send a fakey front flip on it? Absolutely. Uh, no. <laughs> Absolutely. I will build it and not do a fakey front flip. That seems like the much better option. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you ain't getting that free coaster on anytime soon. <laughs> I know how to build a wheel. I'll have it done in 15 cool. minutes. So this is well, our put, stock money kink right here, man. It looks pretty good from this color. What, oh, straight out. The sun hits it. Hold on. <laughs> what no sign? Sun? <laughs> we are in, can, can we put money in that? Did you get the light? Look at yeah. No, oh wait, it's there. You see it? You, well, your light's different than mine, oh, but wait, it's a nice right. color. It really is. This is really cool. So uh, this is a solid bike for the most part. There's not much we need to do to it besides put a big set of handlebars on it. All right. There's maybe some reinforcements. Maybe, maybe a nicer set chain. of pe uh, pegs on it. Pegs. Four pegs. No. No brakes. See, the chain is definitely. Just basic, logos, those are pretty interesting. Yeah, it is. Kink's always doing That's good cool with that color, stuff, though. Man. I like that. Kink doesn't mess um, around. Well, let's we'll start building it, I guess. There, like, just we're... start building it. We'll figure it out as we go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So we just opened up the kink. We got all the packaging off of it. And Maddie made the discovery of chrome bars. That probably looks really like good on it. I green. wish we had a pair of chrome bars put on it. That would look awesome. I don't know if we do, though. It's we just, don't. It's gonna, no, it's just going to change. We don't have any chrome bars, do we? Ooh, whose are those? Don't worry. Probably not. Whose are those right there? Don't worry, you take them. Honestly, whose are they, BK? Justin. 
Justin. Are they Justin's? Yeah. So if we just take him right now, do you think he's going to say anything? What's he going to say? What is he going to say? Exactly. Scott. You're right. That's a good point. He also might we can not just make fire. It back. Yeah, we'll just fire him and we'll never we'll get him back. Just fire him. Hey, you don't want to give us your used chrome bars? You're fired. <laughs> just take those things. Let's do it. Let's put those on. Those, those, hold on. Let's check the size on these real quick. They look big. They look a little big. No, but they look nice, though. He, he also might not make it back, so it doesn't matter. Oh, my yeah, it's perfect. Thank you, Justin. Thank you. No, those are good. Yeah, they're fine. They're good. Hey, okay. Justin's one. lucky. We found another pair. <laughs> but. We gotta recycle these grips real quick. They're brand new. They are brand They're new. Nice too. So you're gonna have to cut out a good two and a half inches on there. That's pretty it's pretty substantial. <laughs> it's gonna be so proportionate when I cut these. I hope you're right. So we got some pegs to put on there, but now we are moving on to the chain. The chain's very important because the one that comes factory on it, like for a little kid pedaling down the street, it would be fine. But Not with for, a grown man riding a yes. very small bike. <laughs> yeah, so... We are exceeding the weight limits on this bike. There's no doubt about it. So we're so, going a shadow chain, right? No, this is no. actually Colt. Okay, it's a Colt <laughs> chain. We'll, we'll, we'll take that one back, but it's very sufficient. Half link. Uh, it's going to be gold. Should match. Look pretty cool. It look really good with the green. And there he is, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. He's ready for his bike. Are you so excited about this today? I'm so excited. Show us what you got in the box. <laughs> Ooh. Wow. We got a profile hub. We got some chain. Pretty we got a little colors. Gyro. Yep. Mm -hmm. Looking good, man. Looking good. We're having the nicest 18-inch on the block. 16. 16. 16. 16. We're having the nicest 16 on the block. <laughs> 16 might be too. a little big for you, bud. All right. Let's go. Let's go pick, pick out your bike. Yeah. Let's do that. Guys, we have a lot of bikes. A whole lot of bikes out here. This is so crazy. Our back room right now. There is just. Seriously, bikes piled everywhere. It's nuts. If you guys um, need a bike, calm yeah. down. <laughs> go, go to we have the one for you. Please go to scbicycles.com, guys. That's all I got to say, all right? Go to scbicycles.com. <laughs> all right, but back to this one. Here's a couple of our 16s. There's 16s on the right, too. What's that one right there? No, bond, down one. What's that one say? Same. Oh, they're all iridescent black? Yeah, yeah. No, it okay. was, it's meant to be. Iridescent black is the option. But that made my life a lot easier. <laughs> You're so excited, I can't wait to open the box. <laughs> You're so excited, aren't you right I'll now? Look at you. No, it's got some green oh, purple. To it. Like, dude, when it was in the box, oh, I it saw is green. green. Is it the same? Oh, yeah, so apparently this uh, green that Maddie thought, it's actually iridescent black, but it has so much uh, sparkles in it that it kind of gives off like a green hint to it. I think so. in the sun it's going to get much yeah, better. Yeah, I think so too. Well, it looks you guys really pop cool. out this little seat real quick and this is done. Yeah, so if you're interested in getting a kink carved 16 inch, the iridescent black is the one that we have. Burglar putting his first new part on. What is it? The Snafu Anorexia pedal with the jet fuel. Nice, dude. I will. You might as well. If you're Ooh, pedals, yeah, I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna. I will. I'm gonna. <laughs> Maddie ended up putting some uh, claw metal pedals on there to get a little bit more grip than the little plastic ones that come on there. But yeah, Maddie's ready to roll. Corey just added a Eastern camouflage seat to his bike. He's got a bunch of colors going on here. Are you gonna have some serious brakes here? Are you gonna make them work good? Of course, Matt. Of course. The amount of foofanoos that this bike is going to do. A foofanoo on a railing would be like, even the smallest railing is going to feel like the one you did at <laughs> Dodson. <laughs> it really will. Yeah. So here's the boys with their bikes. Corey, nice man. I think it looks really good with the jet fuel on there. I think that was a very good ad. And you can see Maddie's chrome. Maddie's bike just looks clean. It looks just, it, it actually looks. It looks street. Very it street like and it, proper. It fits. Like even the handlebars look like. Yeah, it looks like, proportional. Looks normal. Yeah, it does. It, looks very it really does. To, like, your normal I totally bike. agree. So um, we got these bikes built up. I know we're we not at now? skate park or anywhere, but <laughs> the only way to sell this is a game of bike between you two right here, right now. Anything goes. Flat ground? May the best man win. Flat, flat ground, cone, bench, wall, anything goes. Is it bad if I bring a self esteem down real quick? Who, of course? Getting all excited on the 16 inch. Oh, like that. You want to answer back? You got anything? <laughs> you got anything? Yeah, just laughter. <laughs> Because that was hilarious. <laughs> Alright, let's do this, guys. Why don't you give up BMX and start doing comedy? Whoa. Alright, the boys are ready. Now, to figure out who is going to set first, what we're going to do is a manual competition. <laughs> manual competition, you hear me? Lo longest manual right now. Oh, Get to set first. I'm so good at these, this should be no problem. So come around the corner, start at the cone. <laughs> we want that much speed, don't we? <laughs> yes, you do. 
Here they go. The longest manual will win. Oh, Maddie looped out a split second later. It's a, a short back end. That was so no, I Corey, with brakes, Corey's was yeah, gone. I got him in there, yeah. <laughs> All right, it looks like Maddie gets to set first. Why? Oh, he looped out too. Yeah, but just Wait. a little bit past yours. You're right. All right, what's your first trick going to be? All right, I'm going to uh, double tire ride nope. across the side of the, the bench. That's pretty sick. Pull. Come on, burglar. He's coming the other way. Pulled as well. Anything you want. Anything goes back here. You want to ride off that roof? I'll let you. I'll let you. You want to wall right the side All of your right. Escalade? Go ahead. No, no. You just got clean. <laughs> hop up double tire mm -hmm. on the same bench to hop up pegs on the top. And then what? Hop down, double tire, hop off. Okay. So double tire, little, pegs, little double tire. Tires. Oh, it's a feeble. <laughs> That's a fail. What All do you right, got, we're gonna go. Uh, we're going to do a ghost feeble along this curb, but mm -hmm. I'm going to set up two cones for the distance. Oh man, I, I know as far as he went, since you guys didn't specify, I'll let you land back wheel even with the cone just like he did. Fair. But I'm gonna clear it. <laughs> <laughs> Burglar, come on. Oh no! <laughs> it so yeah, the so speed was there. Yeah, speed was there. Actual like. Oh, the front end cut really far in. I'm like, ah, oh, damn. Well, that's a B core. That it's is a B. So it's your trick, though. Beat. Are you doing the same trick? Same trick. <laughs> it's gonna be tough, but you can do this. This is going to be tough, but you can do this. Oh man! <laughs> <laughs> you really did. All right, now what you got? Um, we grab a cardboard box. Cardboard box. All right, we're gonna ride directly at this boy, hit the double tire, and land on it. <laughs> Absolutely. Question. Don't even bother. Okay. Just let it happen, Corey. Need... There won't be any questions need to be answered after this right here. I can promise you that. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it! I knew that was Me too. That's why I said don't ask any questions. <laughs> Just let it happen, man. All right, man. After that fail, you're back. A wall ride 180? Yeah. You're going to do a wall ride 180. No? That is sick. It would be, yeah. It felt pretty good. I did it on a regular bike. <laughs> that was pretty close. What do, you, what do you have to say about that, Matt? What's on your radar after that one? Where's Not Jersey? that trick. Just like I did for Corey, I figured he could match it the same way as you, so you can match it the same way as Corey right now. Oh, we're gonna round up that far. That's what we? we're doing. Yeah. So all fair is fair, right, Corey? Fair is fair. This is fair in my book, too. Good. We're all on the same page. <laughs> it was close. It's uh, tied up right now, B2B. It was fair I'm is fair. I'm gonna 180 this box. Long ways or Long short ways? ways? You're. I what is wrong with this dude? Man. Can you go that way? I just washed my truck. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Respectfully, I can. This dude is out of his mind right now. This is a huge 180 on a little bike. Oh! I, should, I knew I should have hopped with it. <laughs> All right, dude, back to you. All right, double tire, double peg. There we go. We're so doing it again. Doing it. <laughs> I have to. He doesn't have brakes. That's three. I hope I you're really banking on this. I he really doesn't have brakes thing, okay? Oh, yeah. Third try is a charm, hopefully. Oh, and he's got it. Yeah, that was very clean. All right, he's really He's right, banking. the whole break thing's gonna be tough, but I can do it. <laughs> oh, he landed on the very edge of that thing, man. He's good at what he does. Like, he was seriously right there. How is this briefcase not thrown out yet? Everything that has been thrown out in the back here in the last few days, Fashion week. Ew, there's water in yeah, there. there's water all over it. Okay, you ready? This is gonna be cool. This you have to knock the briefcase over and throw a hot bar over it. <sighs> you kidding me? All right, this is a terrible, terrible idea. Oh, we missed it. You have anything on the radar right now? Yeah, ice the bench. Ice, ice stall. Oh, wow, another one on the bench. <laughs> 
He's got the ice. Can Matt get this one? I think he weakened the bench. I don't trust him. Break lists and everything. We'll see if he can do it. Not his forte. Today it is, though. That was good. What the heck are you going to do with that? All right, so we're going to uh, put your back wheel on and then go hang five past this cone. What the heck is wrong with you? <laughs> Hop on manual to the cone. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Six inches. And then you gotta hit the the cone and flip it up. So you're jumping the briefcase. Jump over the briefcase. And trying to take Ross back in that thing. Flip this cone up. This dude, he's a glutton for punishment, Core. I. No, you're supposed to hit the cone, not the briefcase. I'm going to go double tire to turn down off the bench. Double tire to turn down? That's good. Yeah. That'll be fun. That was so good, Core. Come on, Matt. Oh, that's interesting. I gotta watch that one back or something. After reviewing the evidence that I acquired on this video machine right here, um, I'm sorry, Matt, that's not turned down. I tried so hard, though. Did you really? The seat's a little too high, I think, for what mm. I need to do here. Yeah, you gotta get out of the way. All right, well, fair enough. Let's see what you can do with the seat, though. Do something cool. Okay, you're gonna nose bonk the briefcase, back tire bonk the cone, flip the cone, full rotation. Yeah, full rotation. Land. What about the cardboard box? Should we, cardboard should box. we bring that in there too? Yeah, you're okay. So we're gonna start down there. Hop, power slide up to the briefcase. Up to it all. Yeah, that makes and, more sense. And bunny hop. Yeah. Is that is that pretty good or what? <laughs> Look at your slew of things that are laying down here that none of them successfully have been landed yet. Do you realize that? <laughs> yeah, it's fun though. It's B I to B. <laughs> I'm having a pretty good time. <laughs> go go go! Pick something else. I'm gonna 180 over the cone. The cone. Vertical. You really think you're gonna pass that little bike through there? Watch me. That was wow. really high. That was, high rubber, I think. That was really high. Did you see you, it? You cleared the cone. Your back wheel was at least four inches or higher. You cleared the, the top of the cone, which is shocking. <laughs> I just felt the tire just roll off of the rim. I can't so believe I how high that was. That, that was, was awesome. sick. Oh, All right, Corn. It didn't work. Manual line. No, the, the same one. Yeah. Oh, wow. off the curb and everything. Can I let it count on this one? You have BI. This will be for a K. You can do this though. There's no reason. You already beat him in a manual challenge today. It wasn't that far though. But if you go fast <laughs> enough, it can be. <laughs> <laughs> he had it. That sinks. B-I-K. It's your trick though. Hey, I was going to go to that corner. All right, what's your trick going to be on this island? I'm going to fast plane right over this island. Ooh. Island doesn't even right. exist. Ocean to ocean. Because he's an island boy. Did I say fast plant 180? You didn't, but now you did. Now I did. Fast plant 180. Okay, I got and you. Fakey. I heard you. Corey heard you too. Wow, that was pretty impressive. So he didn't hit the island. He did it before the island. That was really impressive. Oh, he double tapped. <laughs> Okay, it's um, B-I to B-I-K. You're still in the lead, Core. I feel better, you know. Matt, uh, sorry. Hop double it's tire, 360 off. Hop double tire, 360 off. Yes. Nice. Oh, man, Matt just got handed a, a potential tie situation right now. There's a filmer. What do you got? There's a filmer on the course. Hey, there's plenty of island there. That's all I got to say. You're gonna ride off that ledge to flat? I'm gonna find something higher. Something higher? I'm gonna nollie to flat. Off of this thing? Off of the ledge. Oh my goodness. That was perfectly executed. So he went off the side core. Take that into consideration. Yep. Perfect, dude. Walk up for the start gate. 180 disaster, 180 out. Really? Oh, the thing you were riding already. I know what you're doing. Oh. I remember bike. the day we did the flat tire death gap on the 16 inch bikes. Corey was doing this thing perfect when he was warming up. So we'll see if he can do it today. Here it is. Oh, <laughs> <Bummer. laughs> 
You have potential to tie it up. I'm gonna pedal all the way through one of the things, do a little foot chain whip on the top bank down the, uh, up there, and then ride back down there. That's really cool. Yep. Same one. Because Maddie's trying to make his way up. He's working. Oh, bummer. <laughs> that was funny. Corey Burglar just called out a double tire ride across this. Oh. And he did it with a little bit of a roll. Can Maddie get this one or will it be game over? Easy. But we're to the bleachers. I'm gonna hop up, hop up, hop up, hop up, and jump over. All the way to the top. And ride right off either the edge or onto that side. Perfect. One, two, three, four. And he pulls a core. You got this, Burglar. If not, it's gonna be tied up. I agree with that. Come on, Burglar. You look solid. You look solid. Oh, that was super <laughs> close right there. Check that toe. That was super Check close. So we're at, Corey's still in the lead right now. Game ending letter. All he's gotta do is find the right trick to end the game. That's the real question. How's he gonna do this? Double tire up that pole <laughs> to flat with pole. I love wow. it. Wow. Let's I go love do that. it. Come on, Burglar. Tires. You still got whip. You've been out of stalemate. Looks like you guys finally hit your match. I'm gonna you do a tree ride fakie. Just gonna ride right up and double tire out of that bad boy. Epic, love it, yeah, let's like do that. it. I am shocked that worked. <laughs> Corey gets this one, he's still in the lead. Corey! <laughs> you went for the sideways wall ride. I did, no, he, I really he just hit sunk something. in like crazy. He, hits, he didn't bring it up speed. Tie game, dude. It's B-I-K to B-I-K right now. Right. You ready to do this? Yeah. What is it going to be? Tail up over the hip? Yep. Wow. <laughs> that was just a guess. Yep. <laughs> That's what it is. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> That's right. See you out there. See you over there. <laughs> Can Corey get this tail up over this little hip? Oh, no! Look at Maddie. Look at Maddie right now. He knows. You should have stayed home. Oh man, and now Maddie gets to do his trick, whatever it is. I gotta do that foot chain whip again. Like that it. I think it's a pretty epic me. trick. It was we'll taken see. Taken from me, Scott. Can he get this one? The climb. He's got it! Straight down. That was pretty sick. Burglar, you need this one or it's game over. Can he get this? How bad does he want it? He gets two tries on this. You get another try. It's BIK. Remember that. Since he has a cane, it would be the last trick. He gets a mulligan. He gets another attempt at this one right now. Let's see if he can do it. Come on, Burglar. For the win. For the win. Oh, that was so good! I don't think you turned your bars back the right way. I did. See where they're at right now? Look it. Yeah. That was a good game, though. Should oh, do a rematch. So Should definitely do a rematch. You know on where? Where? Meg Ram. My oh, garage. the garage. That's a pretty good idea. 16 inch. On the garage. Wow, that seems so exciting. I Let know. me tell you, in your garage. All right, guys, that's it. We finally got some 16-inch bikes built up, which I'm happy to say, and I'm excited to see what these guys come up with. We're going to Woodward for the BMX experience. It is on May 13th to the 15th. If you guys want to go, you guys can sign up, and you guys can get involved. We're going to bring the 16-inch bikes there as well and have some fun with it. So, guys, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed this one. We'll see you next time. Peace.